Heavyweight division is scheduled three rounds of five minutes. Referee is Mr. Eric Whittington. We can see there the, the stats reach, reach the stats Protect difference yourself, with the Touch reach and height. A decimeter and a third mm. longer reach. <clears throat> but we will see this this is shaping up from everything on paper at least to yeah, very cool. as Coach Dave said, striker, grappler. But you never know. That's the joy of MMA. People can just come out with completely different plans and you look ready? to flummox and bamboozle their component. Hey! These guys who, who tend to want the fight down have started to really add low kicks. Yeah, there you go. And you start to really see that, you know, because you're out at distance, your longest weapon is your foot, and the closest target is the calf. So, you know, you start to see that. You, can, you want to keep them at distance, and they start kicking your leg. So then you move a little closer, and then they're closer for the takedown. And I guess as well that that little kick in the front leg just means you're a little bit lighter on there, so you can have less of that stability of uh, center of gravity. No more feeling them out with them um, Korean finders, but you can see Hassani looking to set up that shoot. Yeah. You know, that big front thigh. Try to put his chest on the quadricep. Be intrigued whether Namo has been practicing those knees to intercept that. You're going to get a lot of force coming through those if you can, if you can land it correctly and at the right time. But again, Hassani, not much movement. He's constantly moving to the one side. And then again, he needs that little two way movement going on. You know, he's um, allowing um, Namo to hold the middle. Um, Arrange, uh, set the pace, uh, set the range. He needs a little bit more feints. Oh. Now he's going to come in and there we go. Body there mark. you go. Yeah. Two punches, kicks from the outside, get a little closer, and then go to the body lock. Very classic. Then let's see what Namo's got here. Keep him up. Namo is, of course, about seven odd kilograms heavier, but it's spread out over a much larger mm. frame. So, in this instance, that low center of gravity of uh, Hassani is likely just going to be putting a lot of force. And Robin, what, what's uh, Hassani trying to do here? Should he drop down? I think, you know. Fight off, guys. Let's go. He'll stay here. Sometimes you'll literally just put your guys back to the fence just to make them work. Take these knees. Those Stop. are all. Stop. Yeah, break, but break. Let's go. what I was just about to say is if you don't start to advance it soon, you might get separated. And that probably a moral win for Namo there. And Namo hasn't thrown big weapons yet. There's oh, we got a knee. Yeah. We've seen a couple of times now, it's only three minutes of round one, but we've seen a couple of times tonight where heavyweights have been too patient. Yeah, I think Namo should imply a little bit more hand speed with a little bit more ferocity behind some of them, but like that. That's what exactly he needs to be doing now, you know? Setting up that right hand, possibly finish with a long left hook if he can, because he's got the range to do that, you know? But again, waiting a little bit too long. Is it part of the fight strategy to bring it on later and turn up the volume later? We're, we're, we're yet to see. You know, if it is, sometimes what you, you didn't take into account all the things is now your legs don't work or one of your calves is starting to go cold or the nerve is hurt. And so, you know, the idea of patience is good in theory sometimes, mm. but in actual fact, sometimes it lets these guys down. Yeah, that's the gamble you got to take, though. That's all risk that's and deep. reward. But you know, Normal, guys, engage. Normal hasn't, there's a hard right from Normal. Normal hasn't had his back on the floor yet. So that's a win. Yeah. He wasn't able to, you know, disrupt or burst out of that. And, but again, if Asani doesn't manage to take a takedown from this and they're reset, that's not bad for Nama. No. But he does need to pull the trigger if he's going to win this, otherwise he'll just be ground down. Yeah, Asani being a little bit too tentative, I thought now now he's inside, this is where Shoulders. his game is. This is where he should be looking to maybe 
um, transact that weight lower, lower, lower centre of gravity, look to uh, look for a takedown inside. But he, he seems to be content just to, to hold and just stay there. Shoulder strikes to the to the chin. Well, in the yeah, McGregor most famously yeah. used at least in the McGregor cowboy There you fight. go. Beautiful single leg takedown. So 15 seconds left. Isn't that enough to win him the round, though? Yeah. I don't. I don't think so. I, I would. I would lean towards Namo yeah. in this round. You know, he didn't do much, but he done enough to to edge the round for me. Watch it. Let's go. If the round really was even, yeah, or he was winning round. it, we'd say, oh well, wasn't that a good finish? But if it wasn't, if he was losing it, that takedown earned him next Domination, to nothing. Both of you going together at the same time, okay? I'll watch. I don't know what Namo was moaning about then. What happened? I'm not sure. I wondered whether it was uh, fingers to eyes, but I couldn't entirely see. But uh, no matter what it is, it's one thing to mention something to the ref and point it out when you can and see if it's of value to you, but it's another thing to be distracted by it. This was Arya working his way in behind punches. Again, Hassani's got to use that fast footwork, like I said, with that double feint or a double jab. Fight for the takedown, then take, bring it up top, or go up top and then go down. You know, he's going to mix it up a little bit more. He's, he's just a little bit standoffish, too much standoffish, and it may cost him the fight. We'll see if any of that information was passed over by the corners in this second round. This will be five minutes as per. Namo in the grey and orange trunks, and Hosni in the pure orange. Armo's got the uh, sweet mustache. That's also another great differentiator. And Namo attempted a couple of um, knees when um, Hassani was coming in, and that, that may have Hassani a little bit more tentative. There's trying to find it through, and it's Hassani who throws the overhead. Oh. And there's a couple that rocked Namo's head there. If he can get one more of those going, a little sequence like that, that'll he can chase it into the thigh or the body. Yeah, and sometimes when he does it and then backs off, he should go again straight away, but, you know, he, he's contented. Oh, I've, I've, I've thrown one or two hot punches at half, got him, and he's contented then to stand back off and stay out, 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 of, out of distance. And as the shorter man, as you know, you've got to close that distance. And like I said, um, uh, um, Namu needs to in, just imply a little bit more hand speed on that jab, a little bit more hand speed on that one, two. Yeah, they both seem a little bit worried about what the other one can do. Or even feint the jab, turn it into a hook sometimes. Feint the jab, lead with the right hand, just mix it up yeah. a little bit. More. Throw a leg kick yeah. after the jab. Yeah. Yeah. They both have the, the, the feeling that something, you know, is about to happen, but they're not the one making it happen. That's right. you got to create opening sometimes when it's a stand, you know? Again, you know, making the point about making the most of your attributes. No, for me, it's not making the most of mm -hmm. the attributes, you know? It's length. And Height. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a boxer as well. Yeah. I mean, he could be playing in the situation now, even teep kicks, little leg kicks, jab leg kicks, like um, Robin said. Fast one twos down the middle, change the angle, and then shoot across the bow. You know, things he needs to mix up a little. Indeed. And you're just saying to be throwing a, a jab without any yeah. purpose behind it. There's just... nothing, yeah. It's just a feel out, feel out. But there's nothing behind it. I think if this fight goes like this, it's going to be a hard one for the judges to um, to pick, you know? Well, then it will just come down, I, I think, to those moments if someone got a takedown, even if it was at the yeah. end of a... Uh, Hassani also, you know, if he wants this on the ground, that's on him. That's right. Yeah, he's... And if he's the type of guy who prefers to duck under your punch to get the takedown, and there's not enough punches coming, then you have to go to plan B. That's right. Or draw the punches. Yeah, he just seems contented of just staying out of range, and uh, you know, I, I, I don't see his fight strategy in this fight. There's no tensity in his fight. There's no tensity in his, um, you know, coming forward. It's like he's too, too tentative in 
everything that um, Namu does, you know, if you watch, mm. he's reacting to every little movement of Namu. Oh, moving in with a little bit more aggressiveness, and now he's going to go for the takedown. If he scores this, this could be a round-winning moment from Hassani. 90 seconds is a long time when you've got this this grip position. There's elbows that, yeah, there There you go, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's elbows available to him. And, you know, he took two of them and then goes back to defending. That's not the worst idea in the world. Now it's free it again, go with some punches, yep. And he noticed he made his man move and he improved that position. Yeah, I don't see enough wrestling aggression from um, Hassani. Yeah, it's interesting if, if Hosseini feels like he's winning or just feels like, well, I'm safe and that's a, that's a, it's a nice place to be for now. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, uh, if you feel like you're winning, that's different. But if he just feels like I'm not losing, you know, you don't know that. Well, he's not doing anything um, positive enough to secure, you know, any like nods, nods from the judges mm -hmm. to say yeah yeah he has that little um wide swing outburst but basically apart from that there you go this is what yeah. you should be doing looking yeah. to make transactions there you go get a bit more there you there go now he's getting involved yeah took a, it took a while but sometimes it does take a while he, he wanted his man to to be punching and doing a little work and get him committed to something else and he got it but is this enough time it's the same as last time it was only about 20 seconds left by the time he got it down yeah. is that enough in a, depending on the the make of the round or the judges score but it was pretty much a stalemate before then it's right. it is, it is an interesting question for the judges yeah yeah you know there, uh, Mark Goddard and, and a couple other really good judges are, are now educating other judges and, and refs and, and stuff. And they would, uh, many of them will look at this one and would say, well, Narno was the one doing damage. Even though there were short shots, he landed 15 or 20 or, or 25 in some of these clinch situations and the takedown did nothing. Uh, and so that's how modern uh, judges are scoring things. Yeah. But then the question is, well, Hosani did have two or three good shots yeah. earlier. Is that more important than 15 small shots? And that's the hard comparison. That's the really hard one. And sometimes in the scenario where it's a close round, the that judge will tend hard. to go for the guy that was the aggressor who was making the fight. Yes. But in, in, in Hassani's um, position, he's not being aggressive enough to me to seal anything, you know? Mm. That if it's a close fight, you know, this is going to be a sticky one for the judges. Yeah. Yes. Sure, and it's open for both fighters here. If they come out with a bit more aggressiveness and desire, yeah. it's, it could be for either of them. Yeah, it's this this last round is the defining round for me. Whoever get wins this round and um, can display a little bit more aggression, a bit more finesse in their fighting, gets the nod. But Namo continues with that touchy-feely jab. Yeah, but there's nothing behind it. He needs to, you know, sometimes ram that jab. You know, straight down the pipe, followed by a right hand, you know, see, see what reaction he gets from Hassani. It's a punch with more intention, more, more you know, spitefulness. And like I say, switch it up, feint mm -hmm. the jab into a hook, feint the jab, shoot the right hand, follow with the left hook, you know, he's got to get a little more inventive in his fighting. It's not an electric pace, it's a, yeah. a you know, a fairly slow, um, jalopy kind of pace, you know, somebody needs to inject a little bit more spite, a little bit more speed into it and, you know, catch the judge's eye, it's the last round, lads, come on, you got to make some effort, you know? Well, it's interesting, many times you will talk to fighters before and say, well, what, you know, what would you like to do and what would you be disappointed in? And they'll always say, I just want to make sure I show my best. And then after a fight, sometimes when it's been a little bit too patient or a little bit too slow, they'll say, I don't know why I did that. I wish I did it different. That's right. But in these moments, there's just something about, about the dynamic between them where they kind of lull into this. It's a, almost a feeling of safety. Yeah. I can't take too much risk because, you know, I might be winning, but I'm, I might not, but I'm safe right now. And it's yeah. human nature. It's, you know, it's, it's a strange fart of human nature that sometimes we just take it easy, even though before and after we would have wished we acted any other way. That's right, and if you've seen the referee a moment ago, he clapped his hands like to say, come on lads, let's get a little bit more involved. Now look, um, 
Namu is not doing nothing. But what he's doing, he's looking like he's the one that is more doing a little bit more yeah, of trying. working, you know, making trying a little bit more than Hassani. Um, you know, Hassani will have that little splurt which is too far or too frequent in between. You know, he's got to, you know, make, make more of an effort to come forward, cut the distance. Whether if he does do what he's doing now and try and transact, drop to the feet and try and go for a takedown, but there's nothing, there's, you know, even when he's here now, it's like he's just, you know, Resting. holding and contented yeah. just to be there, you know? Yeah. But and again, you... it's partly because this feels safe in the context of of a violent confrontation with a heavyweight, being chest to chest feels safe. So, yeah. you know, subconsciously, it's hard to fight that instinct. I know that, yeah. but in, in the third round, you're in a fight, lads. Yeah. It's close. What do I do to win this fight? Do you want to win? You know, it's all about the desire to win. And some of this now, if we if we accept that it's human nature and sometimes we'll feel this way, then now we demand that from our coaches, where our coaches have to be telling us, you're not behaving the way that you're going to be proud of tomorrow. That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is where a, a coach is worth his salt, you know? Um, Namu, for me, like I say, he, he, he's got a distance on this guy. He just needs to inject a bit more venom in his in his in his punches. Um, you know, like this now. Look, he's doing the leg kicks. This is what if yeah. this round is close. This is what's going to catch the judges. I just need to do a little bit more of it with a little bit more intensity. Yeah, it was a big moment as well. Uh, you know, about 30, 45 seconds ago, when the referee separated them against the fence, which quite quickly compared to the previous two rounds, which is really where Hassani in the previous two got the takedowns that could swing this whole fight. So, you know, Namo has one minute now to really put the pace on and see if he can but do anything about bear it. Bear in mind too, Hassani may have quite, quite possibly won both rounds. So yeah. even Narno, you know, now winning round four, round three so far through four minutes, uh, that may not be enough. But it very well may not. I dare to question, I don't know if, if Hassani's won the two rounds. Yeah. One may have been even, even round two could have been even because Nama True. was doing a little bit more work rate. Admittedly, Hassani got a little takedown towards the end of the fight, had little, little moments where he had a little outburst, but is that enough? Yeah. He's, 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 fighting with, he's fighting with too much defensive mode in yeah. his fighting rather than aggressive mode. And that's the question, and that's what the judges are gonna that's right. have, to, have to decide on. Me, I'm going to give the nod to Namu. I think Namu's going to pinch this on a split. I mean, this is the most definitive round, and it's Namu's round. round. Yeah. Uh, but how those other two went, we shall see. Are we, we taking? Are we taking any bets, lads? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. What do you got? What do you got, Carlos? I think Horsony was gonna gonna. Hey. Go, I think the judges will yeah. go hey. for him. I agree with Coach that personally. It. But that's as close that to I like 10, it 10 for normal. As you can have. But I think. The judges are going to see it for Hossein. I agree. That would be my thing. I think Namo... And I'm not judging the judges or saying they're wrong. I just think that's what they may see. I'm going to stick my I'm going to stick my neck out and go um, Namo split. I like your style, coach. So I think second, I like your style. In my mind, second round was definitely Hossein. Third round was definitely Namo. It's all about how they view that first round and whether that very late little takedown swished it for them or yes. whether Good Namo. Point. The so point one was the closest of the three. But two heavyweight fights, two uh, quite laborious ones. Just <laughs> it's a good word. It's a very yeah. British word. I mean, all the fights that has happened tonight, yeah, it was a fight. It was still interesting. But out of all the fights, that one's the one that's a little bit lethargic for me. Yeah. And, it, and when you, the word interesting is correct, because I always, you know, think about what's happening in their minds. That's right. And, and what will they think later? That's and right. And what would they have thought earlier? Yeah. And, and then yet here they find themselves. So yeah. it is fascinating. It's, it's a human, well, it's human, a human game. After yeah. three rounds of five minutes, we've counted the points and we have a winner. And the winner is the man in the red corner, Alia Hosseini. Um, he got the nod, we, it was very close, but um, tomorrow the two of them will be kicking themselves, even though he's won. He's